change a few things around here. Um, this inverter that's in the back, this red one, is only 800 watts. I don't believe it's even that. Anything coming from this China, I'll tell you what, I don't believe a thing. Right now I'm going to be taking off the, uh, the refrigerator. The refrigerator has been running all night long, no problems, except I don't like how it's draining the one battery that it's connected to, or the one section of batteries that it's connected to. Now this is connected at the other end of the lead, uh, this charge controller, and of course it only is doing anything in the daytime, but even at nighttime, this never gets as low as that number there. Obviously, that's got, that is not a good number to be looking at. I don't want to burn up some brand new batteries. So this one's saying 12.4. This is seven, saying 11.97.96. And, and actually, it's probably going up because the refrigerator might have just turned off for all I know. It may worth the expense. It may be a saving for the short run, but trust me, in the long time, in the long run, it'd be better if you just sat down and build your own junk. That's my guess. Yeah, that's my guess. And then, of course, down here, I have this on another lead. I'm I'm not using all the same leads on any of the. Yeah, the refrigerator turned off. So that number's going to be drawn back up, no doubt. But that's a little bit too low for a battery section to go down. Yeah, so this one here also runs the, uh, the there's a, a room where a computer or server it never turns off and uh, it needs AC and then there's two monitors in that room and a couple other things, external hard drives, uh, other things. It also runs my, my charging unit stuff, things like my, uh, my phone and um, that inverter though, when I turn that switch on, I only turn it on in the morning, well, I call noontime morning, um, and that's when our store opens. When I turn that switch on, back there on that inverter, it turns on this strip here. So now we're at 12.6 and 12.15, and it's going to go back up to about 12.4, 12.5. Um, until we get some, one of these days when we get some sunlight. We don't have any sunlight. The only power that's coming in is this stupid little thing here. Um, and I'd be interested in testing those two terminals to see what we're at at this end of the battery bank. See, there's another set of batteries under here, and they all loop around to connect to all of these batteries here. And then I'll show you the so, all of these batteries will be con are connected by these cables. And I wonder if those cables are warm. Nope, not even a little bit. Well, that's good. And here we are, we're rising on that. But see, cycling the batteries that low is not going to work for me. The only thing that that thing runs is my open sign and uh, my hub. I have an Ethernet hub that controls the, uh, the network in, in the business area. The lights in the front room that are 12 volts. So that's the only thing that runs. This one here stays on 24 hours a day. This one here runs my uh, Verizon router box. Not the router itself, but the, uh, the unit that draws so much freaking electricity that it's incredible. It's 20 watts a day or 20 watts an hour, I'm sorry. No, that's a bad thing. So, refrigerator's coming off for now until I figure something out. I might go to a 48 volt inverter and just change my whole freaking setup here. Until then, bye bye. And then there's the, uh, and then there's the, uh, and whatnot. So, um, <clears throat> I keep this little trickle charger on here to make sure I never get below. Uh-oh, I've got a customer here, so I'm going to have to cut this short.